Right, what's up people? Today we have Sam the man. Today he's gonna be our project. Let's go. How many times have you played disc golf before? Only when I'm with you, like, I think two times. I think we played one actual round and then you've done like trick shots and stuff. Exactly, him. yeah. So that, that's all he's done. And I haven't taught him anything, so he's a total beginner. We did some tests to see how good Sam is right now and we didn't give him any advice whatsoever. So we're gonna do before and after results and these are the before results. We did some putting from five meters and you hit... What, what did I hit? Three out of ten. Three out of ten, yeah. Three putts out of ten from five meters. Then we did uh, some distance. You had five discs. The longest throw was 39 meters. And your average distance was 32 meters. Impressive. Impressive. Four. I think we can make some improvements. And then we played three holes, and from those three holes, you went plus three. Hmm. And this is a compilation of those three holes. Okay, now I'm gonna use the pot. Ooh. If you guys are new here to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. I upload every Sunday, so if you like consistency, that's me. <laughs> Leave a comment down below what you want to see next, and we might do it. Four. Let's go. All right, I try a blue one. I think it's gonna go straighter, I hope. We'll see. It's kind of like flat in the middle. <laughs> Four. <laughs> yeah, blue. So uh, the blue one didn't go well, so I'm gonna try a red one. Try out my colors and luck. <laughs> All right, let's put it with more power. Oh, good bid. That should count. I'm gonna try the green one. I had better luck with it before, and it's my favorite color, so let's go. Clean release. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Putting with the PD2. Yes. All right, let's uh, go for a three. Yes. Plus one, foot fault. All right, are you ready to become an actual disc golfer? Yeah. And get some tips and uh, technique and uh, throw further and become better. Let's do it. Let's start off with putting. First of all, there's a lot of different styles. All right. So let's start off with a couple different styles and see which one you feel is the best one for you. So right now when you're putting, you stand like this with your right foot in front. Yeah. And then you did it from the side and tried to that's one style. The other style that I want you to try is a straddle putt, mm -hmm. which is when you stand like this with both feet same distance from the target and then you go with your disc in between your legs and then just push okay. it away. So no spinning, just push it forward. There's a little bit of spin, but the most effort goes into just pushing the disc away. All right, let's try it. A uh, little bit more spin. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to like come in here and then let your hand open up as you release it. Okay. But yeah. don't think too much about it. Be relaxed and let the disc come out of your hand. All right. That looked better and you got more spin, so you hit the band. Okay. Let's do one more. Should I bend my legs or just keep them straight? I bend my legs a bit to get more power. Yeah, I'll, I'll bend them. Yeah. That looked good. You got a clean release. Try one more. And then try to aim for the middle of the basket. A lot of people call it shaking hands with the basket. <laughs> So release and then just right, imagine I'll, grabbing. I'll ball. try it. Damn it. Good aim a little bit low. One more, last one. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I just want you to feel the different type of so style. That, that the third style is kind of what you're doing, but it's more of a, what we call a spin putt. Right. So you use a lot of spin in the disc. So it's the same thing with your right foot in front. You come to the side, that's okay. I come a little bit to the middle and then just spin it out. Okay, so you start over here and then just... I would be a little bit more towards the target and then come in a bit more here instead of back here. Yeah. All right. And then just spin it forwards. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. That looked pretty natural. Yeah. Try one more. A bit too hard, I think. That's the thing with spin putt. You get a lot more speed in the disc. I see. Yeah, lots, more, sp lots looks, more speed. That looks good. Like I said, these are the different types of putts. Yeah. But then there's always things you can change with them to make them your style. Just to show you an example, I'll show you my putt, which is the first one that we talked about, but it's not a lot of spin. Yeah. I go really deep. Instead of to the side here, I go down here. Oh. Like that? Yeah, kind of. But uh, you're still uh, to the side. Tilt your foot a little bit to the left. And then I go in between my legs. You want to go over here. But okay. Try to go down in between your legs. And then just push it. I see. So like... And what's the use for this? I mean, for this stance? Just more power, more spin? 
for me, I get more accuracy okay. and there's not that much speed into the disc. So if I miss, it's not going to go too far mm. and I don't get too many spit outs, which is when you hit the chains and it comes back out. All right. I just try to like put it into the basket, not throw it in. Okay. That's the difference. Oof. Yeah, that's decent. It's the same thing that I showed you with the straddle putt, the one when you go like this. Yeah. You can go really deep with this one as well. Okay. So I can do it like this. And that's pretty much the same thing, but you're doing it with a straddle putt instead, like this. Like that? <laughs> not, not like this, right. like this. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, and then do it deep and come up. That's the same thing. Go really deep, feel the difference. <sighs> Did you feel how it's not like direct? More like putting it in, you know? Yeah, it's more like, I'm over-exaggerating now, but it's more like this. Yeah, Where yeah, just I got the feeling. It in. Yeah, I got the feeling. Yeah. One more shot, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, not so much power. And it's really slow and easy to control. Yeah. Yeah, but I get the I get the point of, you get the of point. this dance. Yeah. What do you feel like suits you best? Which position felt the most natural to you? Yeah, I mean so far when I got the point of this staggered staggered. That's stance. a straddle. Straddle stand. Straddle, yeah. Yeah. With just uh, putting it in. Yeah. I think it's the most uh, efficient one for me. Yeah. So yes. I think so too. It, yeah. it looked pretty natural. Just like yeah. yeah, because that looks really good. Instead of just throwing it in, you can yeah. actually just put it in. Yeah. yeah. Let's try to do that from a little bit further away then. If it feels weird or if it actually works from back there as well. Sure. So now we're from like six meters. Just try to do it again. The number one tip that I give to people to make them more accurate is to go big and slow. All right. As big of a motion as possible and do it as slow as possible. Because if, okay. if you do it quick and twitchy, it's gonna have like a really small margin for error where you release the disc, mm. where it's gonna go in. So if you're doing this motion yeah. and you release it here, it's gonna go left. If you release it here, it's gonna go in. I and see. if you release it here, it's gonna go right. Let me see how you hold the disc actually. You're holding your index finger almost under the rim. When I putt, I hold it like out here okay. to make it come out as clean as possible. Almost just want it to like glide out of your hand. You don't want to like spin it out. It just wants to come out. Yeah, I think, I, th I think I get it. Yeah. yeah. I want you to over exaggerate to feel the difference. So big and slow like this. One more try. That looked better. Yeah, I was trying to like push it like on the words, then yeah. forwards. That's exactly what we're trying to do here. Then this is tricky. Yeah, but I don't really know if this is the optimal way of learning because it's so much information to take in at the same time. I think in closer range, I think this will be beneficial. Yeah, just on when... closer range. Yeah. So what do you want? What do you feel like doing when you're back here? Just feel out where you want to put your body and what you want to do. Yeah, I would like to just. Uh, but you're see. still going back to a staggered stance, yeah. which means he wants to spin it more. So I think we actually want to keep the spin putt when you're further away. Yeah, I think so too. It's kind of difficult for me to like have the power. Yeah. Away. Yeah, I understand that. Just feel it out and try what you want to do here. Okay, so one thing when you do that is you release it like this, yeah. which is on a higher angle. So the disc wants to go left. Okay. If we do that more flat like this, do you see how the disc just goes straight yeah. instead of falling to the left? Like you're giving the disc to yeah, go almost. something. But you're still spin putting, so the same thing, but just bend up your hand a bit so it's straight in the air. All right. That was straighter, but it came out really wobbly. <laughs> you can go big and slow here as well. Yeah. If you go twitchy, it's going to be really hard to get that height and release, right? Yeah. But if you go like that, it's so much easier. So you see how I am like this? Mm. Instead of this, just be relaxed and feel it out. Yeah. <laughs> of course you have to put more than that, but you're like <laughs> opening up your hand. The disc just wants to come out. You don't want to like open it up. There's a lot of information to take in, but just focus on being relaxed and relax your wrist. Because your yeah. wrist is like really stiff. You I'll don't try. get the spin. So just relax and get it out there. Okay. That looked a lot better. Yeah. Did you see how clean it came out? Yeah, I saw it. Didn't, it. I like, felt it too. Yeah. Okay, one more try. <laughs> now he's getting excited. <laughs> that looked so much better. I'm Do getting it. there. One more time, come on. <sighs> okay, in between those. That was so good. That was a really clean putt. Yeah, I want to try with the other stance. That looked clean as well. 
Okay. The technique looks a lot better. Last try. It's fun when you're getting it. That was so clean. Hey. That's so good. That was the pressure. <laughs> but it looks a lot better. And you did all of those with a straddle, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I think so too. The straddle, but just be relaxed. Now we're just dialing it in. Nice. Dead center. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> three out of three. <laughs> Good job, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Looks a lot better. I got the like the soft movements of it now. Yeah. Let's do it one more time just for good measure. All right. And then we'll go on to throwing. Just try again. All right. Nice. I really like how you're using your legs now as well. Yeah. You're doing this little... Like jump before I... Yeah, almost. Yeah. Like pushing with your legs instead of just standing and using your arm. Exactly. Looks... Like a little almost. trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> like a trampoline. <laughs> Looks a lot more natural. <laughs> it's really good. Thanks. That's so good. I think I got it. Dead center. Thanks. <laughs> it feels really good, you know, getting it. The technique. Yeah, it looks a lot better as well. Thanks. On to throwing then. When we're done, we're going to do these tests again. And I think you will get a lot better than 3 out of 10. I hope so. Because right now you hit 5 out of 6. So Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's start off with your grip. It's like this. That's how you hold the disc when you putt, right? Oh, okay, yeah. When you throw far, you want to use a power grip which is when you tuck all your fingers into the rim like this. It can't be like really loose. It has to be in this groove right here. You can see the groove in your hand. Yeah. This groove right here. You want the disc to be there. Okay. And then grip it like that. I see, okay. Let's see your fingers underneath. Yeah, just like that. Much more stable. Look, your, your finger goes this way. You yeah. want them to be like this, so it's like digging into okay. the rim. Yeah, okay, I get it, yeah. Stand in your position like you did before, and do the exact same thing like you did before, but with the new grip. All right. That's a lot further. <laughs> and that was with a putter. That's a two-speed. Your furthest throw was with a 12-speed, so big difference already. <laughs> but now I'll show you a better technique. Okay. So do the same thing. Hold the disc like we talked about. Stand in your position and I'll change your position so it's better. If I aim towards the camera here, I don't want to be like this. I want to be like this so I can move my body and actually rotate my body. Okay. So Because uh, you're not putting right now, you're throwing. Exactly. So what you want to do, take your right foot and you want it to be 90 degrees okay. towards where you're aiming. And keep your left foot a little bit further back, like over here. This arm right here is where you're aiming right now. Yeah, I get it. Do you feel like your body wants to move with it? Like that? Yeah, try yeah. that. I mean, how, how do I do that? Just do what you feel like right now and I'll tell you later. Okay. There was so much more power in that. <laughs> that was like insane difference. Ah. Your arm hurts. A bit, but it's, yeah. kind of, it's, it's fine, I think. Yeah, but your arm should be totally relaxed. What do you call it? A cooked spaghetti. <laughs> a noodle? Yeah, it should be like a noodle. It should just be... You're and gripping just... it, so it's like stable in your hand, but then you're just relaxing and letting the arm just yeah. naturally move with your body. Okay. You're beginning your throw like in the furthest reach back position. Okay. You could like stand like this and then do it in one motion. Yeah. So you get even more speed because if you're just doing it from here, you're just pulling. Yeah. And it's gonna be like a really twitchy motion. But if you do it from here and reach back and then throw, okay. it's gonna be more natural. Okay, Not you got a lot more power, but you had a lot of nose up. Did you see how the disc like yeah, threw like, like this? Yeah, like Yeah. Yeah. The problem with that is that you're throwing the disc like here. Yeah. You need to straighten it out. All right. So a lot of people call it turning the key in the door because you hold it like this normally, mm. but you want to turn the key. So like turning a key, turn it so it's flat because then it's going to be flat when you release it. Yeah, okay. So try it again. J just do the thing where you turn the key, like that. Exactly. Okay. I think it gets. Yeah, like I said before, start here, do the reach back and then pull. Okay. So it's like a one solid motion. I see, I see. Yeah. Let's do it. Ah. Go in. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it <laughs> went into the, <laughs> the soccer hole. <laughs> You made a hole in one. Hey, Congrats. Let's go. Why that happens is because you're rounding your body. Rounding. To explain that easily, when you're doing your reach back, you're behind your body. 
Okay. Which means if I want to throw that way, where does the disc have to go? Uh, like other other side? It has to go around my body. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't do no. it here too straight. <laughs> I have to go around my body. Yeah. Which means I'm going from here to here. I want it to go straight. So instead of reaching it out here, if I want to go straight there, my arm is going straight I the other way. Yeah. Just so around your body. Not around your body. Huh? Right. Not around your body. You don't want to go around your body. That's the thing I'm trying okay, to tell I'm you. I'm sorry. It, yes. No, it's okay. You want the disc to move in a straight line. Yeah. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So if I'm aiming here, yeah. I don't want it to be over here. Okay. Because then I have to round my body. So if it wants to go there, I have to go straight. Okay. Yeah. From here, straight in front of me and then straight out. So it's just a straight line. You get it? I get it. So when you do, do the thing again, you're aiming towards the pole okay, the next po to the tree. Where do you want your reach back to be? Exactly, like behind me. Here, you're aiming. Now you can look where you're aiming. Oh, okay, no, it, it wasn't that straight. No, Yeah. because you're going behind your body. Now it's going to be in a straight line. No, don't, don't pull it here. I see you wanting to pull it here. Keep it out, right there. Then it moves in a straight line. That's good. I should like re relax my arm too. Yeah. You're still trying to pull it a bit over here. Keep it out. Keep the disc towards me. There you go. So, okay. So to to make it easier, you can move your right foot a little bit to the front. Okay. Because that way your body wants to open up more towards me. Okay, yeah. And I should keep my torso like... Yes. In line, all right. Yes. That is probably 55 meters, which is like 20 meters further than your average before. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's with a mid-range. So now okay. stand in the position you did before. Okay, I'm gonna aim for the tree. Sounds good. You don't want your feet to be like in a straight line towards your target. You want it to be slightly off. So now you can see your feet in a straight line going towards yeah. here, which is slightly to the left of the tree where you're aiming. Yeah. And that is correct. Okay. You don't want it to be straight towards, you want it to be slightly to the left. Okay, I see. But not too much. Okay, not that. Uh, it's going to be... <laughs> it's a lot to think about now. This is the really hard part and this is why it's not the best way to learn. <laughs> the best way to learn is to focus on one thing at a time and then just work on that. Your position looks really good right now. Okay. So just trust yourself and go for it. Okay, thanks. Oof. It's a big difference. Yeah. From what you did before. One more time. Don't forget turning the key. Yeah. Because now it was a lot of nose up again. That's why it went so high and then just fell out of the sky. Exactly, yeah. This disc is really understable, so it should help him with distance. I'm not going to tell him what that means, but <laughs> it's going to help him. Oh, it was too understable. <laughs> That's unfortunate because that was a really good throw. You had no nose up on that. That was really good. That was really Damn flat. It. All right. Try it with the disc you had your furthest throw with. My lucky green. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, the difference. Nice. That's insane. <laughs> Come on, give fast. me. Hey. That's insane. Let's go. You almost got it to the tree. I know. That's crazy. My best shot today. Yeah, by far. <laughs> That's twice as far as your furthest throw in the first <laughs> test. Wow. Twice shit. as far. Okay, try it with this one. This one is really overstable, which means it wants to go left. Okay. But if you throw it that hard, I think it's actually going to go straight for a while. All right. So I'll throw it just like you did that one. Let's do it again. That's insane. <gasps> That's an FD3. You got it to go straight. Yeah. That's so that, that was insane. Good. That was good. That's really good. Damn it. It's still an insane difference. I think that's almost as far. Yeah, I think so too. You seem very impressed. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> All right, it's time to see the results. Five Let's throws. How far can you throw? Let's do it. You already have one throw that's 78 meters, which is twice as far as your furthest throw in the first test. Yeah, insane. So whatever happens, you can be very pleased with yourself. Oh. That's a good throw. <laughs> yeah. I think it's 70 plus. Okay, let's aim for 80. Yeah, I think 80 would be insane. Oh my god, wait. It went, <laughs> it went further. <laughs> Holy shit, that counts. That we'll counts. count it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll take that. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. 
that's a really overstable disc, so it's not surprising that it went left. Yeah. That, that's what it should do. Yeah. But still a bit too much nose up. I see. All right, two more discs, then let's measure and see the difference. Yes. It's mixed for me, you know? You yeah, good but, ones, but you, you did the thing again that I told you not to do. You started in your reach back. Yeah, that, I, I did that, yeah. yeah. That's right. So start in your normal position, do the reach back and then pull. So it's one solid motion. Yeah, just like that. Yes. Last one. Last one. Let's go for 80. Yes. Come on. Come on then. <sighs> That's far. Oh my god, I think it's further than the light blue one. Yeah, I, I think that's al also 70 plus. Okay. Let's measure, see the average difference and then your max distance as well. Yeah. Your max distance before was 39 meters. Do you think you beat it? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Pretty good throws there. Yeah. I'm excited. Good job, dude. Thanks. Good job. Boom. All right, Sam the man. The results are in for the distance. Okay. Your average was doubled. Okay. You went from 32 to 64 in average. Exactly double. Exactly double. Wow, nice. That's insane. Before, your furthest throw was 39. Mm -hmm. We got one that was 78. Okay. Which is twice the distance as well. But in these five throws, you got one 75, which was the furthest one, although it was a roller. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, that's right. But your average is still twice. Perfect. Nice. That's crazy. But now on to putting. Yeah. From five meters again. Let's see how many you hit out of ten. Yeah, let's do it. Can we beat three out of ten? I think so. I'm feeling confident. Me too. All right, first one. Let's go. Easy. Oh, easy peasy. It looks so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is insane. <laughs> dude. Good job, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Can we get the perfect? <laughs> you already tied your previous score. <laughs> already. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yes. Four out of four. You beat Let's it. Go. <laughs> okay. Four for four. Let's go. Okay, one miss, but it's okay. Oh, no. All right, it's a bit windy. Let's blame the wind. Still four out of six. That's good. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, Almost. close. Last two. Come on. <laughs> Unfortunate. Last one. Come on. Can't all be perfect. Yes! Nice. Last one in. Six out of ten. You got three out of ten, now it's six out of ten. Uh, again, double? Yeah. Oh, everything's double. That's crazy. Now okay. for the final test and the final results. Let's play the three holes again. Yeah. And see how much you improved. I'm ready. I think you are. Yeah. And now I can help you as well. I've chosen your disc, which is the hit. Mm. And I think with a perfect shot, you can get a birdie here. But we're, we're going to be happy with a par. Yeah. We're trying to beat plus three, but I think we can actually get even par on three holes. If we're lucky, maybe even under par. Sam. Oh my God. Sam. Shit. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Wow. You have a birdie putt. <laughs> yeah. I told you. <laughs> Pretty slippery, but we'll manage. This is kind of the same distance that you've been training at. So yeah. the statistics say that you should hit this 60% of the time. Yeah, I should get it. Yeah. Get the birdie, come on. <laughs> a number two, or what's it called, a birdie? Yeah, a birdie. <laughs> is that your first birdie ever? Yeah, I think it might so. Be. I might be. That's <laughs> insane, dude. Let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. First hole. Let's go. Let's go. Hole two, you can use the same disc. Yeah. You threw it amazingly, so just do the same thing again. A little bit further, but it's a little bit downhill as well. So I think you can actually get it to the basket. Yeah. Should I aim again a bit to the more right? Just a little bit to the right of the basket, but just get it out there. Let's get it. That's a bit left. Oh, and but... a little bit short, but it's still really good. Yeah. Do you remember where you were at this hole the first time? <laughs> Way over there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a big improvement still. Big improvement. <laughs> if we can go under par, then that would be amazing. Yeah, let's get it. Just a layup. Don't try to make it. No, exactly. Okay. Uh, that's... that's a bit short. Yeah. It's a bit of a tester. It's, it's doable. I think we'll get it. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the par. Come on. Yes. There was no spin on that disc, <laughs> but it's in the basket. But it's in there, that's it's the point. Yeah. All right, last hole. Now I want you to throw the method because it's a slower disc, it won't go as far. So it's still like a solid throw. It's only 38 meters though, so you can't throw full power. Yeah. Aim a little bit to the right of the basket, let it finish left. All right, so before I did that, 
Yeah, now I'm gonna do something like that. Yeah, more. that looks good. Good speed, a little bit too far right. A bit too far right. That's definitely a three. Okay. Nice shot. Thanks. This one is a bit further, so you need more spin. So stand in a staggered position instead of what you're doing this now. This one? Yeah. So like you were putting from the beginnings to get more spin. That's a par. Okay. Let's go, dude. <laughs> That's minus one in total. Uh, after this one? Yes. So it, it was minus? Yes. Okay. Minus one instead of plus three. Let's finish it then. That's insane. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, teacher. On three holes, four stroke difference. That's crazy, actually. That's wow. insane. Over the course of like three hours or something. Yeah. And double the distance, double the average distance, yeah. and double the makes from five meters. That's insane. Shit. Wow. Very good teacher. So thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great. And great student as well. You listen very good. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, it was very really fun. Okay, really satisfied. Do you like this golf now? <laughs> it's more fun actually now. Yeah. Yeah. When you That's actually know good. what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's it for today. This was uh, very interesting. Yeah, very fun too. You know? yeah. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, leave a comment down below so I know what you want. Yeah, this could be a series. Yes or no? Could be. Today we only did standstill shots, for example. Yeah. So I could try to teach you like an X step and try to get more speed into the disc. Like more movements. Yeah, and we could go over forehands, mm -hmm. like throwing this way instead oh yeah, that's of right. this way. Yeah. So there's a lot more to the game than what we learned today. Yeah, I look forward to it, if yeah. it happens. Yeah, so if you guys want to see more, just leave a comment down below and uh, we'll do some more. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.